Welcome to Amplify Science Grades 6 through 8 Student Navigation Tutorial. Throughout every unit, you're going to be exploring science in a new way. You're going on a problem based deep dive where you're going to take on the role of a scientist or engineer to figure out a phenomenal real world problem. We'll begin by getting familiar with the layout of your home screen. Please follow along closely because these tricks and tips will help you greatly throughout the course. Here we are at my home screen. Keep in mind your home screen will probably look different because you might be in a different grade level or have different units that you're studying. Let's start from right to left. In the upper right, you'll notice there's a bell. This bell would give you indication that your teacher has submitted feedback for you to review. At this time, there is none. I could hit refresh to see if there is anything new. As I go across to the middle, if I click on the banner Amplify Science, it would take me to all my units. So at any time you want to come back to see all your units that you're studying, just click on the Amplify Science banner. Further over to the left, this is what I call the Navigation Hamburger, because it's got three stacks. We're going to open up that and explore it next. When you click on the Navigation Tool, or the Hamburger, you're going to notice there's some key features located in this hidden screen. You can log out from here. You can go to your account to come back to the Amplify Science curriculum. You can click on this logo, but also you're going to see things such as tools and science apps. Keep in mind the science apps that you're going to see in your account may look different than the ones loaded in mine based upon the units that you will be studying. Let's explore these two tools. I'm going to click on My Work. Anytime you open up one of the tools, it will open up in a new tab. So that way you can always come back at the top to your curriculum tab, or you can then now go over to navigate your My Work. Notice I have no work submitted. This is where any work that you would submit or hand in online will be scored by the teacher with feedback. So look forward to seeing My Work populated as you complete assignments. I'm going to go back to my curriculum tab and I'm now going to open up the library. Welcome to the Amplify library. There's a couple things I want you to keep in mind. The articles that you see here are also found in the lessons themselves. So the articles reside in two places. First, the library. Second, also directly in the activities and the lessons that you're going to be going through throughout the curriculum. Let's go ahead and work left to right. So I'm going to start with the navigation toolbar located here, the little hamburger, inside the library. If I open that, home would just take me right where I'm located now, back to my home screen. The next thing down would be reading settings. If I click on reading settings, notice you can change the text size, the line spacing, and some other features just to make it more user friendly for your own views. If I go down to themes and tunes, this is where you can have a little fun with the platform. So here are my themes. Maybe I want to change my background to be these lovely, cool, psychedelic looking palm trees. So I hit save and you can see in the background, I hit the X, it is now changed. To change that back, it's real simple. Go back to themes and tunes, hit reset, save, and then close that. We really did themes, so we didn't do tunes. So let's look at what tunes are. So if I click on tunes, I now get to customize. I kind of like this little guy here and maybe I want it to be blue, and I hit save and close it out, and notice my tune is up here in the top right. If I want to change that again, go back to themes and tunes, hit tunes, I can reset and nothing's there, but maybe I want to put this guy that kind of reminds me of Darth Vader and put him up there. So as I continue working across, I have the genre. The genre is going to be broken down by the different units that you're going to be studying. My library has recently read anything that you favorite by putting a heart on it as you read it. You can also download, so you'd have a list of downloaded books on your device or all the books. Our books are actually science articles that you're going to be reading throughout the lessons. And then list would be any list that's curated for you to read. Over here, you can search the library for key terms or maybe a particular topic you want to read about. Surprise me feature just adds a book or an article that you could read at any time. I hit surprise me again, and it just populates something else that might drive my curiosity for reading. So now let's go into an actual article. I'm gonna pick molecules that cells need. When I click on that, I have two options. 
to continue reading or even download it, but also I can favorite this book again to add it to that favorite list. I'm going to go ahead and hit continue reading to open it on my device. Welcome to the article Molecules That Cells Need. I'm going to start from left to right. In the upper left, you're going to see these stacks of books, which takes me to my recently opened, or I can go back to the full library. The next tab is the table of contents. Sometimes you'll see multiple pages. In particular, this page, um, this article only has one page. As I continue going across, I can bookmark this page if I like it and want to come back to it later. I can also search the page for keywords or certain concepts. This keeps track of all of my annotations and any revealed words that I have clicked on. Notice nothing is there at this time. And then last but not least on the right, the gear takes me back to those reading settings that I can then use to accommodate how I like to read the page. You're going to notice you can scroll up and down through the article, see the visuals. You'll also see the words in blue. Those are those key words. If I click on it, I reveal a definition that's English and Spanish and click on it again and now has a check mark that I have opened it. That keyword will populate up here in the upper right where all my information is kept. If I click on this speaker feature, it allow you to then hit play and the article will play with an actor reading the article in a very pleasant tone for you to follow along. I'm going to scroll a little further down because you can see we have great visuals but also you're going to then be reading maybe to gather evidence to support a claim or figuring out some concepts. So you, sometimes you can highlight. So I'm going to drag, click and drag over any sets of words and you can hit highlight. Maybe I want to copy that text and put it into a document of my own. I can do the same thing and then I would hit copy. Also you can add notes. Maybe this whole paragraph I want to make an annotation about. I hit note. Over here in the right, here's my note. I add my annotations and hit save. Keep in mind when you hand in any work done in your articles, then your teacher will be scoring that work. I am now going to go back to my navigation hamburger. I'm going to open that up and scroll past tools and look at science apps. The science apps are sims or simulations as we call them that you're going to be using throughout a unit. If you click on one, it will open in a new tab. Keep in mind you will not have all the science apps that I have in my account only for the ones for the units in which you are going to be studying. So I have opened one on my next tab. So you can see that these applications are very interactive and they allow you to do things that you normally couldn't do in the classroom. So take some time and you can actually play and explore the particular simulations that you're going to be using. And then there will be times in lessons where you have exact instructions on what to accomplish. One of the apps that most of you, almost every unit, includes is what's called a scale tool. The scale tool has some really unique features. It allows us to go out and look at things from a distance, such as the Earth, the Milky Way, and all the way out into the actual observable universe. If I go to the other end, I can start going down to the cellular level. So maybe I want to also then go a little further and go down to atoms. And if you click on one of the atoms, it's going to tell you what that atom is. Now let's explore deeper into a unit. I'm going to select this unit here, metabolism. When you click on a unit, it's going to then take you to the chapters. Here I can see in my particular unit, there are four chapters. The number of chapters varies per unit. If I scroll a little further down, I'm going to notice the unit overview. So maybe I want to read this to tell me what the role I'm going to play. In this particular case, I'm a medical student and I get to diagnose a patient, Elisa, who's not feeling well. So I can close that unit overview. And there's another feature I want to show you called breadcrumbs. Let's say I want to dive into chapter one and then go into lesson 1.2. If I notice at the top, my breadcrumbs show I'm in lesson 1.2, chapter 1, which is the metabolism unit. If I want to go back to the full unit, I would click on metabolism. So I do not have to use my back browser, I can use breadcrumbs to navigate quickly from chapters, units, and lessons.
Now let's go into a chapter and a lesson and show you what a typical day of working online might look like. I'm going to go into chapter three and I'm going to go to 3.2. You're going to notice this particular lesson, if I see here, my lesson brief has six activities. I see one, a warm up, two, a hands on activity, three, reading about cellular respiration, four, I'm going to use a sim, five, there's a student to student discussion. And to see more, I click on this little chevron and I can see my homework assignment. Keep in mind, every lesson design is a little bit different. Some lessons may have three activities. Some may have six like this one. It just depends on the particular lesson. One thing you're going to notice also is the lesson brief. The lesson brief starts with an overview of the lesson. So you can read through that before the lesson begins or the teacher will explain that. Vocabulary has any important vocabulary that's going to be included or reviewed during that lesson. Over on the right are digital resources. So these are things such as the projections used in the lesson, safety guidelines. Here's the article itself that links to the library. Also, it can be printed if you want to print the article. Here's a video called the story of Sanctorius that's going to be used in the homework. There's a metab metabolism glossary and there's also multi-language glossary. The digital resources will also vary depending on the particular lesson. So this lesson has a variety of activities that you can see. One consistent thing about the program is that you're going to notice if you're in a, what we call a core unit like metabolism, you're going to start many of your days with what's called a warm up. So if I click on that warm up, it's going to open up the warm up activity. So here in this warm up activity, I've been asked a question. So I'm going to read the question, select my answer and explain my reasoning. Once you have completed any text, and answer the question, you have the option down here in the bottom to hit hand in. I'm going to go ahead and hit hand in. It's now turning that in so my teacher can read it. Now, if I change the answer, I put some letters in there. Notice it changes now to update. So maybe I want to go back and explain more about my answer and hit update to update that before it is due by the teacher. So now my work has been updated. If I went to my work, the tab that I showed you before the navigation hamburger, then you would see that that had been submitted. I'm now going to go to the next activity. This one's a hands on activity. So notice it has the safety note. It has the chemical warning and things that I will be doing. It talks about, you know, what we're going to do. Here's the exact instructions. Keep in mind, your teacher is going to be giving you, giving you instructions as you work through this lesson. There's a couple things you can do. You can also click on number three, the reading activity, or at the bottom, hit the next activity. It will also scroll you forward. Notice we now are at reading about cellular respiration. As I mentioned before, the article is in the library, but it's also embedded right here in the lesson. So I can scroll down. I have those same features I have in the library, such as the speaker feature to have the text read aloud. Also the same thing where I can highlight right here. I can add my notes. And then once I'm done making my annotations and, and highlighting that is required for this particular lesson, I could hit hand in. And then I can go to the next activity down here, or once again, I can click on number four at the top. This particular activity is observing cellular respiration in the sim. So it tells me exactly step by step what I'm going to be doing. In this case, I'm going to use the metabolism sim, which is here in blue. If I click on that, it will open up that SIM in a new tab. So the SIMs are located directly also in hyperlink form right in the actual activities. Keep in mind, you can also access them at the navigation hamburger and scroll down to the tools. I'm going to scroll down a little bit for this lesson because it says take screenshots and show what happened before and after a chemical reaction. So you would take a screenshot, upload it, and then make some annotations below. Once I've completed that assignment, I would hit hand in and continue forward. Number five is a student to student discussion. And so you can see here what partners are expected to do. And then number six is a homework assignment. Now the homework assignment gives you options of things to do at home. If you don't have a way to watch this video at home, but it tells you to watch the video, the story of Sanctorius, which is in the digital resources. And then you're going to answer some questions to find that video. 
I go back all the way over here. I can hit Lesson Brief for a shortcut. And I look over here. Here's my video, the story of Sanctorius. So sometimes the lessons will ask you to find things that are located under digital resources. Keep in mind, just come to your lesson brief and you will find those resources. So it's pretty straightforward. You'll be working from left to right, one to five or six, depending once again on the number of activities per lesson that your teacher is going to be working you through. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks so much for watching.